Hello, Michael DiCarlo here. I'm a writing candidate for the United States Senate. What did I do with that there? Oh, here it is. You can spell my name, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-B-E, capital C, A-R-L-O. Uh, first off, a shout out to the League of Women Voters of Arizona. Thank you for the kind reminder in your email you sent me to fill out the last questionnaire. I appreciate that. I got that done today. And I appreciate you being involved in this electoral process here in Arizona. Second off, I would like to thank the Fortress County Record on my Facebook page, Fortress County uh, Politics, Crime, and Justice, for allowing me to post the our roundtable uh, forum that we had on Sunday in Sun City or Sun Lakes, Arizona, on your page for discussion. I, I appreciate you allowing us that forum to promulgate a message of liberty and free speech to those of us who were not invited to the red team and blue team debate held by PBS, the creators of Barney, who love nobody, nothing but money. Um, I'm going to post this as sort of a forum, I guess, a, not a forum, but a, a, a platform of sorts on where I stand on some issues. And please, and please, if you would like to know where I stand on a specific issue, please put it in the comments below. Like and share this video if you'd like to. Uh, we're looking for the hundredth monkey here to actually change the paradigm, folks. Well, I'm going to read this here. This is uh, right in Michael DeCarlo for U.S. Senate. I stand for the office of U.S. Senate from the great state of, Iter uh, state of Arizona for a few of the following reasons. The swamp cannot be drained effectively and efficiently by folks who are part of it. Those who have assisted in the construction and maintain its current state. The voices of we, the people have historically been overshadowed by money interests, the money interest of the few. Accountable to stockholders above constituents, which actually makes you and I stock or even slaves to the system, doesn't it? Government is a necessary evil. We, as an American society, cannot benefit from enlarging its size or scope. Smaller accountable government, therefore evil, is the true solution. The federal government has specific purposes defined in the U.S. Constitution. Those are to negotiate with other nations, establish trade, wage war, and negotiate peace. We're all better off when it stays in these, these lanes. That said, unfortunately, in the past, we have expanded way past those areas, or it has expanded way past those areas. We cannot afford, we cannot ignore those instances. However, local solutions can be found and must be found that address those overreaches far, and they will do it far better than having the creator of the concern create more problems by fixing what it broke to begin with. The only constitution that ends up being protected is that of the bureaucrat. The Second Amendment that permits Americans, for, permits Americans from protecting themselves from tyrants shall not be infringed. Weapons are the last line of defense against tyranny, whether that tyrant be foreign or domestic in origin. Preservation of an individual life, in the end, is always left in our own hands. Why less federal government in our daily lives? Well, if you want to be managed by an agency created for a specific purpose, it will and has been created for you for that purpose. We will not only pay for its creation, but also be on the hook for the arms of its enforcement as well. How much evil do you really want? Desire, how much of a necessary evil do you really want, desire, or actually require? At what point do we, the people, say enough is enough. The first bill I would be proud to introduce will be medical cannabis in the United States Senate will be medical cannabis for disabled veterans. Why? The opioid epidemic this country currently finds itself in the middle of has an epicenter. I'm of the opinion it was created by the Unaffordable Care Act or Obamacare. Cannabis is an alternative to opioids without the harsh side effects. Think of it this way. Opiates are provided to terminal cancer patients in folks in hospice care. Why should they be provided to folks who are not quite there yet in the situations? The right to choose belongs to each of us. It's part of liberty. It is an inherent right provided to all of us. Our Creator endows us Americans with certain un in pardon me, inalienable rights, which means the following to me as a person. The Constitution confines government to what it cannot do to you or me without due process of law. 
It does not provide you rights. Or if it did, the government could then take them away, couldn't it? It constrains the government from becoming too tyrannical in its confiscation of your life, your liberty, and your property. The of, by, and for part of our federal government has been lost in translation of any historical context. What has caused Common Core educational standards? No child left behind did. We fail to remember that the least efficient thing in this entire world is government. No child left behind means that every child is left behind. The Patriot Act means that mean, does nothing to keep keep you safe or make you safer. It merely is a permission slip for hunting of dissenters. We used to call those dissenters patriots. As a submariner, submariner and a veteran, I learned in my career service that there are no problems, there are only solutions. You've had the wool pulled over your eyes for far too long. Smell the coffee. It's a brand new day. I ask for your vote since of all the candidates who will ask for it. I am the only candidate who has already operated a drain pump in your service. My name is Michael DiCarlo. I am a writing candidate for the United States Senate, and I ask that you write me in on your election ballot this November. Take care. Peace. It's a new day, folks. There are no reason to fear. We'll overcome this. Be well. Take care. Peace and love to you all, and I hope that you all and wish you all nothing but good health.